Okay, here is 1983 B2 question, AP exam question. Um, we're gonna look at A on this page. So the information that is given, and I wrote it for you, the mass is given, the um, spring constant K is given, the second block 2M, also the mass of the second block is given, is moving with initial velocity of V sub zero, and then collides with the mass M. And in E, they ask you to find the speed of the blocks immediately after the impact. So I can use conservation of momentum. I can say momentum of the first block or 2m block, its velocity plus momentum of the second block, its velocity, it wasn't moving, is equal to the momentum and they stick together of them together after and i'm looking for their new velocity so it looks like their new velocity is going to be equal to two-thirds v sub zero so two-thirds of the initial velocity of the 2m block for b part they ask you maximum compression so they ask you to find x the maximum compression. Um, I can use energy before is equal to energy after. So energy of the block two blocks, um, kinetic energy of both blocks is going to turn into the potential energy of the spring. So um, kinetic energy of both after the collision, they have one half their mass 3m and their velocity together that we just found out two thirds um, v squared, v sub zero squared equals to one half kx squared. I can cancel um, one half and one half from both sides. After I simplify the left side, I have um, 3m times 4 over 9 the initial squared is equal to kx squared so the maximum compression x is going to be equal to i can simplify this part a little bit okay so now i have um, I can take the square root of v sub 0 and take it out when I take the square root. Uh, the rest can stay underneath, oh, and the 2 can come out out of 4. The rest can stay underneath the square root. So I have um, k is at the bottom in the denominator. And on the top I have m and 3 on the bottom um, and 3 at the bottom so that would be my let me clear this a little bit so I can write my final answer as x equals to this expression so this would be your maximum com uh, compression of the spring Okay, and the last part is I have to find the period of the oscillations um, of this harmonic, simple harmonic motion. Um, the period for the spring is 2 pi. The square root of m over k. This is generic formula. So for our case, we don't have m we have 3m so for our solution um the period of oscillations is going to be 2 pi the square root of 3m over k and that is it for this type of question on ap exam in 1983